Okay, you know what time it is. It's time for our edition of my Capital Night video blog. It's me, Lynch Music. Now, here's my observation for you, if you know I'm, if you know I'm saying. According to TheBlaze.com, and so is CampusReform.org, says that the police has been alleged. Alleged to, uh, you guessed it, police arresting, yes, juvenile, juvenile suspect for alleging threatening, you guessed it, ethnic cleans, cleansing of us African Americans like me, and so is, his, so is uh, Hispanic students in Charlottesville, North Carolina. And you might think it's so smart you have, have to, you don't have to realize that you don't have to tolerate, you guessed it, that's right, terrorism, or whatever happens to this one. Well, who knows, keep it, keep it civilized about hate or racism, whatever it is. Anyways, just, just, uh, here, just get this story. Police has been arrested a 17-year-old male over the weekend who was accusing of making racial charge charge threats online against minority students at Charlottesville High School earlier last week. <laughs> and, you might, and you might think it's so smart that last Wednesday's online threat has been contained with biased based language targeting spe specific ethnic groups within Charlottesville High School. And that's what the police just been said, about, just been said all along about, you guessed it. That's right, it's been a news release. So here's my observation for you. Why is officials closing all the district schools last Thursday and Friday? If you ask, try to admit safety concerning more than, you guessed it, 4,500 students who attend Charlottesville City Schools in Virginia, you might say. Now, quote this from Charlottesville Puppets, uh, Police Chief Rochelle Brackney says in a new statement, says, the, the safety, of our, safety of our students and staff are the top priorities for the department and the department and the city, city and the so is the school district, if you might add to this. And that's why a, that's why a press release according to according to Twitter <laughs> account because juvenile just arrested. Oh yeah. It's a huge threat. So what are the details of this this scenario? If you might ask me about this uh, judgment, so he, here's the details for you. Because someone who claimed to be a student, Charlottesville High School, posted a threat on the webcam website for channel uh, website for uh, channels. Uh, you guessed it. Um, let's see. It's gonna be uh, www. NBC29, oh yes, NBC29.com is the television is, is the television website just reported, uh, you guessed it, WBIR TV in West Virginia just reported and um and here's here's my observation for you if, uh, if you if you must do the threat reported instruct, instructed white students to stay home. So, there, there could be an ethnic cleansing. Oh, wait a minute. What is ethnic cleansing? Has cleansing has something to do with us African Americans and Hispanic students, according to the news outlet? And that's why police has been, you guessed it, not confirmed whether the suspect is a student inside this school district. Um, that is why I have no objection whatsoever. Because I have no idea what the hell is going on. And what about the authorities, if you might ask? Well, authorities charged with teen, teens with threats to commit a serious bodily harm to persons on school property. 
and harassment by uh what is this? by what computer oh hello and there's no further details we're provided a you know, about the sus suspect as far as we get started if you ask me put, put this in right for you ask this question what did the school officials say about this here it is your worst nightmare worst nightmare if you will the district says in a huge statement on its website uh, you can check this out Charlotte Bills uh, Charlottesville uh, schools org on the website you can check check out check this out for yourself because it's put put a huge statement last Thursday about the hate and uh of -oh, the R word racism would not be tolerated. Okay, give me one good reason why. Listen to this. We we would like to acknowledge and condemn the fact that this threat was racially charged, and we do not, and we don't tolerate hate or racism. The entire staff and school board stand in solidarity with our students of color. Mm, that's true. And with people who have been singled without a reason, reasons why, it, because it's, uh, it has something to do with religion. Uh, religion, yeah, that's right. Uh, religion is like me, Episcopalian, Christian, Christian, or you call yourselves Episcopalian, Christian, Catholic, or Catholic, Presbyterian, Lutheran, or whatever happens, or or, or ethnicity or sexual identity. And, and you know I'm surrounded by identity crisis, as far as we're concerned. In other vile threats made across the country or, or around the world, we are in this together. Sounds like Al Jarreau. It says we're in this love together. Sounds like Al Jarreau back in the 80s or something. But here's my observation for you. A threat against one is a threat against all. Sounds like one for all and one for all. But, you know, it could be uh, civilized about this, but still have no objection whatsoever. Now, finally, so what else is there as we wrap this thing out? Because wrap this thing out of my, uh, you guessed it, my, uh, you guessed it, Campus Life video blog, story blog, uh, Campus Life video story blog is this, as we wrap this up. Take for instance, in, two, uh, t in August 2017, violence just broke out. When, uh, uh oh, I wouldn't say, uh oh, early music, I wouldn't say that. Well, guess what? Just just remember in 2018, 18 about white nationalists and counter protesters. Early music, you're, you're stepping the danger zone. I'm not stepping inside the danger zone. I was trying to, to give you warnings about members of the United the right clashing with anti members of Antifa and Black Lives Matter at a white nationalist rally in Charlottesville. Oh, hello. But here's my observation. Observation for you. Get this, you know what I'm talking about is you have no, uh, and you know what I'm talking about. The whole subject filled with um, racism and, and, and uh, all this or whatever I have and, and you might think it's so smart about one woman just killed several and several other people just injured when a protester plows into his vehicle into a crowd of people well that don't make sense don't you think it's going too far about a inside of you know say stories that don't make sense we'll add it a little bit later this week. That's my uh, Campus Life video blog story, and I'm sticking to it. We'll be right back with hashtag Omar Choirs, only on Facebook Watch. Stay tuned.